Where's Bavi? So welcome again to the Echo Backyard Farm and today I'm going to show you how abundant produce are in our farm regardless of which month it is we never run out of resources to feed our family or food to feed our family so let's start first with the eggplants these are just a few of our plants bear with me so we can give you a bit of a tour yeah we are bearing with you <laughs> <laughs> but don't bear it literally <laughs> are still small yeah just leave the small one there yep. mm. I brought a pail along because we're going to have a lot if you follow okay. me yes yes I am following the leader not too fast so we can follow <laughs> oh some more eggplants some more eggplants we scattered them around some of these plants are still from the Typhoon. Ah. Yeah, we never. Ah, yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, we never recultivated it. This is a different variety. Yes. So this it's a funny got look. lost and all. The <laughs> it's the the ball kind of. Uh, yeah. But it looks nice. But the thing yeah. is, if you only plant this kind, uh, takes a long time. It takes a long time, and you need to have a lot to produce a kilo. Yes. So we would rather have the long ones, the big ones. And they, yeah, they they are good at the the long ones. They're, they're also well, more native here. The same. They're also more native here. Yeah. Oh, still, still more. Oh, there are eggplants growing on the on the ginger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of oh, hard to reach. Yeah. For it without. Yeah, I see. Wow. I brought along a pail. Yes. Because we have a lot. We have already several there. Yeah. Mm. Still have a lot here. Yes. Oh, you better go the other side. Oh, I can reach it here. That's still small. Hmm, there's still one here. What about this one here? Before they changed into green, but now they're like going purple yeah. again. Yeah, what about this one? It's a red kind of, yeah. of thick yeah. already. Yes. It's thick. I don't know if I can focus on it. Oh, you, go. you better go the other side. No, I can reach it. Probably. Oh, but I cannot reach. But you can see in the bucket. Yeah. The uh, they can only look in the bucket, eh? Yeah. So those are wow. still small. Yes. So I see. now. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, that's we nice. have almost a bucket full of uh, eggplant. Eggplant. And you can see here also, we have bitter gourd or ampalaya. Yeah. Yes. These are very hard, very very hard to to grow because they are very susceptible. To oh. fruit flies. Fruit fly. There's something else growing here. <laughs> what? It's a pulley. Ah, it's a pulley. Oh, so, yeah. yeah so is the time of that pulley? Yeah. Oh, we, gee, yeah. We discovered that uh, uh, neem tree extract, when it's old already, it becomes more potent. Yes. So that's the reason why we could easily easily grow our, the our bitter corn like that. Yes. So what we're doing now actually is trying to reach out to institutions. Uh, we're trying to send proposals to different institutions, especially uh, uh, yeah, channels, yeah, yeah, TV, TV channels, channels TV, TV stations. The reason for that is we would like to reach out to more people because uh, yeah, here in the Philippines, yeah, unlike you guys who can watch us on YouTube, not everybody has the access to internet. Yeah, especially in the countryside. Yeah. And people who have access to the internet, most of the time, they have very, very slow internet. So yes. when you click a video on YouTube, it just keeps on turning and turning. It yeah. doesn't. Yeah. So yeah. given that, and, and of course, 
internet here in the Philippines is very very expensive compared to other countries and it's very slow and uh, so given that situation we would like to reach out to more people through television so what we're doing now is yeah just what yeah. I said yeah to educate proposals. yeah to educate people so yeah. that they will know but once we go to that we would really go up all, yeah, all, all into in. the details so that yeah. people really learn how to how to work ecologically yeah. we're going to follow the framework of our materials we will go step by step from the very beginning uh -huh. until the last page of our materials so given that given our plan we would like to ask you guys for support uh, if you know somebody else who's interested in uh, organic farming just show them our YouTube site and ask them to just click the subscribe button and of course if you know people who want to uh, invest you can always email us our email is located at the bottom part of the the screen and uh, we would be very happy <laughs> yeah because yeah. Uh, all small hands will have a lot to know yeah yeah small yeah. hands if you put it all, all yes. together it's going to be yes. really big help mm -hmm. and uh, yeah the few following clips we're going to show you other crops that we're going to harvest and a bit on the an update on the contraption that we we're making the, mm. the tube yes. type of uh, yeah or urban farming so we're going to include that in the following clips so okay. hopefully you guys would spread the word and uh, more likes or more, more subscriptions will yeah. take place yeah our, that would greatly help us yeah, that would greatly help us to really uh, entice people in the media to help us out too yeah yeah because mm. we would like yeah because we're very serious about it yeah serious and passionate about it and mm. uh as of now we asked around uh with uh we asked uh, a friend of ours who's uh, a director on tv he told us that we need to have at least three to three point five million pesos yeah to be able to produce one one, one season. season composed of 13 episodes so we would like to um because uh, raise that kind of uh, fund so we can uh, reach out to people especially from the countryside who are who really do not have any resources because they're the ones who really need it the most yeah usually those are yeah. those where, those where yeah. the farmers are living yeah and so, they're also fishermen and i was thinking like for instance spaces or areas like like uh, the areas that were uh, devastated by yolanda, devastated by yolanda. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this could, typhoon Haiyan. Yeah, this could this could yeah. really be of a big help yeah, to people because, because until now their place is still in yeah. ruins. Because if they have a little piece of land, they can already do a lot with yeah. organic farming. Yeah, and what we're going to do is not just for ourselves, but also for the future generations, mm. because it's going to help alleviate global warming. Yeah, we we talked yeah. about that. Yeah, in the, the past, and, and we will have once in a clip. Yeah, or uh, goes on, into detail um, more. Yeah, on, or on, several clips that yeah, yeah. where we include these. Now we're going to inject some yeah. of those in our Ideas. following yeah. mm -hmm. episodes. So we mm -hmm. would have a more concrete description of how organic farming can work to alleviate global mm -hmm. warming. Yes. All right. Okay. Now we will harvest our uh, jerkins. Eh? They, they call this jerkins. Yeah. We thought before that it, it is because this is really off season. We thought that the that the small uh, how do you call that fruit that started would not really get through. Yeah, it would not but, get bigger. Yes, yeah. but then we already harvest. This is the third time that we could harvest. Yeah. Can you put it there? Yeah, yeah because uh -oh. uh, uh, jerkins or pickling cucumbers, the right season for it is summertime. summertime. Yeah. But now because the uh, the weather is erratic, they start uh, or they develop uh, mildew. But the plants may be ugly, but <laughs> the fruits. Are the fruits. Very nice. Yeah, you're after the fruits, not the plant. Uh, actually, we planted again there. Yeah, we're going to plant to the, to the yeah, outside. Outside, so mm -hmm. the mildew will be less. It yeah. will be more uh, air circulation. Yeah. Because if you look closely at the leaves of cucumber plants, it's a bit hairy. So once the weather becomes so dry and then it uh, rains all at once, or all of a sudden then dries up again it absorbs or catches a lot of humidity so that's where the 
mildew start to uh, yes. You see, we, we could already oh. harvest. There are already a lot. Yeah, this is the That's third time we already the, harvested uh, from this one. Until today, there are I a think, lot. I think this yeah. is no, just outside. It's just outside. Yeah. Yes, no, that is just outside. Out. No more. Yeah. As you can see here, we have a lot of variety. This is really to, to show you that we are really organic. You can see over there, it started. We will be soon harvesting our cauliflower. Yeah, over there. a bit later we're going to cauliflower, harvest it. Cauliflower, that is our dino kale. This is our broccoli. They are also they're yeah. so growing nicely. It's our oh, eggplant. Eggplant. These are beautiful. fruit crops. Are yeah, fruit crops. Fruit crops. Fruit crops. Oh, yes. And then we have we have uh, leafy. 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 Yeah. leafy fruit crop. Yes. You see leafy the over like there, the, kale, the, the Chinese kale. kale. Like yes. Mama was saying, I know uh, this is this really shows variety. that it's organic because we go for diversity, and the more diversity we have, the more we can fight the pests. Yes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. diversity minimizes pests. Yeah. Because when yes. you go monocrop, the pests yes. will surely attack <laughs> your yes. crops. Because here, even in one bed, for example, this is the size of 10, 10 meters. We, yeah. we divided it into two. Hmm. So one crop and half of it, ten, ten, uh, meter, uh, five meters, and then the other half is yeah. different. Definitely. You can see that they grow very well. Yeah. They grow very well. Thanks to our Aquaterra. Yeah. That's really the integrated uh, organic farming here. It really works very well. Yeah. Still have a couple of... Yes. For for next time, it will yeah. be big enough. For Friday, it will be big enough. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are going to harvest here our cauliflower. We are doing very well. Look at, look at this beauty, hero. What beauty! Yes. All right. It's doing fine. Oh. You know, once you prepare this, you can see we will only take a part, like especially this one here. No, but we take out also the leaves. Then. I know, I know. Yeah, we're going to take oh. out the leaves. Take out. The leaves. Mm. We leave only the leaves that is that are, close to uh, yeah. the leaves that are close that are to the flowers. Soft. Yeah, mm -mm. because you can also eat mm -hmm. that one. The small ones. Even the stem. The stem, like when you remove the flowers, you just remove this. How do you call that? The something hard like skin. a skin, the hard yeah. skin. You can, and then yeah. you can eat that one raw. Yeah, actually you can yes. eat everything raw. Yes. Even the flowers. Oh, there are plenty of them. My cars, they are very beautiful. All right. And this one, maybe. Uh, yes. So this Chinese kale, but we take all the ugly leaves, you know? Yeah. We don't, uh, we uproot it. We don't let it sprout anymore no. because no, we have not, a lot. And it's not like the dino kale. Yeah. But well, hey, can't, we can't try it. Yeah, we already tried it before. And? It grew. You just need to just snip off the, the leaves. It yeah, continues so growing. We will, just let it done. we will do that. Yeah, but we, we can minimize it. We can uproot some of it because we still have a lot. Yes. We're true. going to have an overproduction. Yes. But you see, those leaves are not nice. So we yeah, take from the off. dirt, from no, the this one, well, roof. Oh, we can snip that off. Yes. No, snip off the, 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 the leaf. Yeah, the no? entire leaf. Mm. Yeah, it really yeah. looks like cabbage. Yeah, but it is a cabbage crop. Yeah, it's yeah. a cabbage crop, mm -hmm. but still different, completely different, or not completely, but a lot different from yeah. uh, dino kale. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a different variety. Yeah. The, what is nice with the dino kale is it's, it has dark leaves, and those yeah. dark leaves that is good. Yeah, there's more nutrition in darker leaves. Yeah. And Mama, here is can I ah, see yeah. your harvest? Here. Yeah, that's, that's string eat. beans. We've yeah. been constantly harvesting, yeah, since we started the fourth season, continuously harvesting sita or string beans and still produces continuously. Yeah, every every other day. Yeah. All right. Still have more here upcoming. Yeah. Again, our local spinach here. Mm -hmm. Really vibrant green. Yes. All right. And our quantum, our duckweed is growing well. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the new strain of it because it has uh, like a cycle. Yes. And now 
the cycle is very good. Yes. Oh, yeah, wow. it goes like that. So from the last episode, as you remember, I was making this one. So now it's in operation, and we're still observing what it uh, uh, what it does or how the plants would grow in it. So we planted here uh, two of each kind of uh, uh, red rapids and, yes, uh, and red here. romaine. So red rapids are not yet red, but because that would depend greatly on the kind of climate that you have. If it's cooler, it becomes red, but now it's a bit erratic, or not yeah. really a bit, but erratic. Mm, yes. So can you look at it again, and we're going yes. to compare it with the same crops that are planted in the soil. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah, all right. I'll follow you. Let's ride. One of the main reasons why uh, we're, try we're experimenting on that kind of farming technique is we have an upcoming uh, project with an association with De La Salle University. Uh, hopefully that project will push through. It's still in the process of the making. In the making. Uh, hopefully by next week we'll have uh, news that uh, if it's going to push through or not and uh, I want to go back on the to the first clip because I think I might have used the wrong word uh, if some of you guys are uh, interested in donating not investing <laughs> in the, the mm. project that we're uh, trying to to realize uh, because anything that's extra with the donations that you guys would give us will go to the next uh, season, season that we would make. to be produced yes. so we're just going to uh, seeding money for the next season yeah because the if, first season of the first season <laughs> yeah if, if you say investment there's something <laughs> it's, it's like a bank so no. i think that's the wrong word to, to, to uh, yeah. that i use so it's if you want to donate something yeah but anyway let's see and compare with our other romaine. Yeah. This is the romaine that yeah. is planted in the soil. So they're practically going at the same rate yeah. in growth. Although they're developing already a little more leaves. But yeah, yeah. It's, you're doing actually in your contraption there, it's not doing badly. Actually, it's more red. It's redder there. Yeah. There's well, such a it's word. a different situation here. It's a different. It's under the. Yeah. yeah, it's more exposed there, where, yeah. where you have your contraption, it's more exposed. Yeah, because uh, what we're using in that system is uh, uh, extracts, or not, not extracts, but nutrients that we get from our secret uh, all-natural uh, fermentation. Uh -huh. So, Papa is also planning to use extracts. Yes. So, we're going to try out yeah. with that and which to see which one... Yes. would be the best for that yeah. kind of technique because yeah. if we can do it with extracts it would be it's it, it's less uh, uh, how would i say it, it takes less space yeah it takes <coughs> less space because when you do uh fermentation need barrels but when uh, we do the extract everything will be natural natural process yeah. no even the one no that, hocus the one, pocus yeah, yes. even the one that we're using now is yes. all natural we will explain yeah. that later in case yeah. we are yeah if it successful. everything goes according to plan and if it works out we're going to write about just like what i said yes. the past uh season uh, past episode so you guys will know more how to do it or how to make it and which uh nutrients or how to make the nutrient content that we use in the water so till the next uh episode and da da <laughs> <laughs> bye 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 <laughs> this one i think we can have this now